Hi everybody, old comic collector back again with another clutch of books from the A to Z going through my short boxes. Got some D's and E's for you this week, so hold on to your coattails, here we go. Straight into it with Daredevil. Daredevil 10. First cover appearance of Echo. Um, and this is the first time she's actually called Echo in the comics. Um, Daredevil 9, which is the big boy book, it's actually the first appearance of Maya Lopez. And it says she becomes Echo, but this is the first time she actually takes the name. But the market is dictating that 9 is the book to get uh, for the bigger money. Um, but this is a great, great David Mack cover really brilliant cover. This is a cheapish book, picked it up in April last year, cost me £67 and I think this is around a 9.4. It's had a clean in the press. Could go higher if it's graded but uh, probably won't be. Probably sell that one off raw. So look out for that on my eBay page. The link's down in the description. Sticking with Daredevil. Classic Daredevil in the Bronze Age. 131. First appearance of Bullseye, the assassin that never misses. This is a UK variant. There was a little bit of interest in this book uh, back along when the Hit Monkey show came out because it turned out apparently that uh, they wanted the rights to Bullseye. Disney Marvel said no, so that's why Lady Bullseye turned up in that show. So maybe Marvel's got plans for Bullseye. We shall wait and see. Um, I thought it was done pretty well in the next Netflix series in season three of Daredevil. Of course, that has all now come to Disney Plus. Whether it's all canon or not remains to be seen. But uh, great first appearance book. Got this back in June last year. Paid £56 for that one. It's had a clean of the press. It's not a high grade. It does present pretty well. I've got it down as around a 5.5. Five. But uh, looking at that, you'd think that was higher than that. Could squeeze higher, but we'll say 5.5 five to be safe. Stick with the Ds. The Dark Hold number one. It was part of the Rise of the Midnight Suns series of books. Went through six titles, including Ghost Rider, Morbius. Spirits of Vengeance, etc. All came polybagged. This is still in the bag. Um, so if you did want to get this slabbed, please make sure you get it out of the bag and make sure it's pressed because it will have a probably a line going down the back. The seam of the bag presses into the book. Dark Hold seems to be a big thing in the MCU at the moment. Pick this up really as it tied in with all the other books. Um, and Midnight Suns, there's rumours abounding that they may well be coming. A new interest in horror. Got this way back in June 2020 and paid a grand total of five pounds for that one. I think he's a 9.4. Obviously he hasn't been pressed because he is still in the poly bag, but probably a 9.4 by the look of it. Magazine size book. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number 19. Got a great Iron Fist cover on that one, but this is a key because it's the first appearance of White Tiger. It does appear in, uh, if you're going for the colour comics option, he appears in Peter Parker number nine, I think it is. I'll put a picture up. That's his first uh, colour comics appearance, but he's here in all his black and white glory. These are quite difficult to get in high grade. You might just have seen my submission video. Book's going off to CGC. And there's a magazine in that as well. I'll pop the link up. Take a look at that. This one's quite a nice one as well. I've got a couple of these, but this is the better one. Picked it up in November 2020. £75. And I reckon that is around a 9.0. This hasn't been pressed yet, so it may look a bit better afterwards, but 9.0 is pretty good grade for a magazine book. Nice. Nice. Our friend Deadpool. Issue one of Circle Chase. This is his first ongoing series. I believe this was a limited series. It's 
Got one of the lovely 90s embossed covers. So there'll be no pressing going on with that one because it will flatten it completely. Obviously his first appearance in New Mutants 98 is a big, big book. So this could be another option once he pops up again in Deadpool 3, which is on its way. Got this in August last year for £9. And I think again, this is probably around the 9.4. Got one of my favourite black edge covers on there, which makes it difficult to get in high grade. This one does have a couple of ticks, a couple of rubs. So 9.4 on that one. Let's venture into these with Edge of Spider-Verse number two. First appearance of, I always get confused with this because it's got Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman on the cover, but she went on to be called Ghost Spider and then it is Spider-Gwen, which is her most popular name. She's known by now. Good old Spider-Gwen, first appearance. Not the first printing, this is a second printing. But uh, again, with the first printing going through the roof, this has picked up steam as a second choice. Seen her in the uh, animated Into the Spider-Verse. I think she'll be coming back into Across the Spider-Verse, the new movie, but it's the live action I'm waiting for. That's when this book will really jump up in price, in my opinion. June last year, £64 for that one. Again, this has that clean and a press, and I think it's at least a 9.4. Again, on a good day, could hit a 9.6. It's a nice book regardless. If you've got one Edge of Spider-Verse, you've got to have another one. Edge of Spider-Verse number two again, but this is the third printing. I think there was about five printings in all in this. Could be more. Let me know in the comments. The design variant, I think this one was called. As the sort of first printing picks up steam, all these second, third, fourth, fifth printings creep up as well. So pick one of these up. Again, picked it up last year. Around about August, £52 for that one. I think this one's got a shot at a 9.8. Really nice looking book. 9.8s are going for a nice, uh, nice bit of coin at the moment. So look out for that one. Three books to go. Hope you're liking what you see. If you are, you know what to do. Hit that like button. See if you like this. Excalibur. First team appearance of Excalibur. Again, you might have seen this on a previous uh, eBay haul video I did. Shout out to the USA, as this is where this one came from. I spotted this because it's the no number variant, which is the rarer of the books. If you look at a few of my other videos where I mention Excalibur. I go through the different versions of this, different prices on the front. This one with no price. Picked up in May last year. See what you think of the price I paid, that was £55, but because it was from America, £22 of that was for shipping. But these don't come up all the time. It looked really nice. I think it's around a 9.4, so I think even for £55 for a first group appearance, I think that's a good pickup. Hoping Excalibur might come down the line. Only the Feige knows. Excalibur 86, first appearance of Peter Wisdom. He's like an MI5 bod, MI5 spook, secret agent type guy. Could be a could be a good shout to come when the X-Men arrive. Interesting book this. I picked up two of these. Um, this was the second one. Found something interesting out when I opened this one. I'll show you guys. This was back when the uh, Marvel were doing the deluxe books. So this is a nice shiny cardstock cover. But the interesting thing in this one is it comes with a trading card inserted inside. I think these were Fleer Ultra. So you can see we've got Wolverine and Phoenix there, Jean Grey. But um, again, if you were going to send this off to be graded, make sure those are inside. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure this will get a qualified green label. My other book did not have them in. I didn't actually know they came with the book. Always look out for things like that if you're looking to get a book graded. Got this one in April last year for £13. He's had a clean, he's had a press. He's at least a 9.6. Again, there's a good shout for a 9.8 in that. But uh, we shall see if Pete Wisdom wings his way to the Marvel Universe. 
last but not least, we've seen her in the What If animated show. This is Peggy Carter as Captain America. Obviously she's called Captain Carter in the What If series. Um, this is first appearance in comics. She's got the shield. This is a Puzzle Quest variant, which is the which is a really good cover, I think, showing off Peggy Carter. She is on the cover A as well, so you can pick that one up as well. This one's a bit more expensive. Got this back in October, paid £140 for that one. Good pick up, let me know. I think that's at least a 9.6. Again, there's a shot at a 9.8 on that. If CGC are having a good day, they've had lots of coffee and they're grading nicely for me. 9.8 all day long. Whew, there we go. There's some uh, D's and E's out of my collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Look out for my next video. I've been notified today that I've got a box coming back from CGC. So hopefully that'll be the moderns. Um, again, we did a submission video for those predicting the grades. I'll pop the link up there. So hopefully the next video you see will be a CGC unboxing. If not, there'll certainly be something else coming out on a Saturday because that's when I drop content. If you don't want to miss anything, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell. You enjoy yourselves today. I've been the old comic collector and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.